defense. Last time, defense. And oh, jumping around, spin, spin circles. Jump around, keep it up. If you have that sign, you keep it up the whole time. That's what you're spiriting with, even if you turn around, okay? And here we go, we're turning around. We're still on defense, it's the second town. We're up back to the crowd, here we go, and horns up! So I decided to become a USF cheerleader. Um, it was always, I've always wanted to come to USF, and I actually never thought I'd be able to cheer at USF. Um, it was a last minute decision for me to try out, and I tried out, and it was just a good environment from the girls and other teammates, and just one of my biggest goals was to cheer at, at a university and cheer in college. <laughs> well, I chose USF as my college because it was mainly closer to home, but it had a very good business program. And on top of that, I found out how close all the USF cheerleaders were at the first clinic I went to. So that seemed like a family I wanted to be a part of. I'm leaving here pretty pleased with you um, on the national side. I'm definitely leaving here pleased with you on the game day side. So let's get a good night rest. Let's hydrate, come in ready to go for land. Don't let tonight be one of those nights that you stay out super late and you're not ready to go. You're gonna regret it. It'll be a long four hours if you do that. I think Sandy is a phenomenal head coach for all girls. She is uh, a great mentor for the girls. She puts a great, she puts a great vision out for the university and just kind of holds them to a nice high standard. She wants, takes a lot of pride in what she does and wants the best for these guys, wants the best for the university. I think she is one of my favorite people. I knew I wanted to go to school in Florida and I've been cheering my whole life. So I was looking at mainly colleges near all-star gyms or colleges with a good program. And I just, I took one look at the campus at USF and I looked, I was a stalker on the all-girl Instagram page and I just felt, I was obsessed with it. And I had my sister cheering at the University of Tampa. So it was just kind of like a perfect situation. I'd have my sister near me and I'd get to like have my own life aside from that with a team that I thought was pretty incredible. So it was honestly a dream come true. My fourth year happened and it was great. I don't think I would change anything that happened. My fourth year, I really took in every moment and loved it, but unfortunately we didn't end the season how I wanted to. So I had to come back and give it one more try from fifth year for Grandma Gabby. I don't think uh, the general public or even people at the university, both in or out of athletics, even realize the amount of time that these girls put into being a member of our team. Five, seven, one, three. Five, three, seven, one, three, four, five, seven, one. Okay. We're looking for people who are super coachable, um, that have the potential to grow while they're here, and honestly, that want to be here at USF. That's huge for me. Growing up, since my dad's an alum, I got to go to USF football games since I was like three for a while. And um, anytime I got to go, it was the most important thing was that I got to see the cheerleaders. And that's how I learned what a cheerleader was. And at, from that moment, I knew that I wanted to be a cheerleader, but I had no idea how I was gonna get there. So my last experience on the mat was in 2018, um, which was my senior year, obviously, of college. Um, but it's definitely a humbling experience to take the mat for the last time, because for me and for a lot of these girls, they've been cheering for years, you know, 16, 17 years, some of these girls. And it's like, at the end of the senior year of college, that's it's kind of where the journey ends, unless you decide to become a coach or, you know, go on to like another 
national level, but um, taking them out for the last time is definitely like one of those emotional experiences where you finally realize that there is more to life than cheerleading. When I was a cheerleader in high school, I had this dream to cheer in college. And um, I've built a relationship with the USF cheerleading coaches over the past 20 years. Uh, when I started out in college, I started out at USF and I cheered there for a couple of years where I was actually the partner to Sandy, who is the, the current USF all-girl cheerleading coach. I was also roommates with Layton and Sandy um, as I was in my freshman and sophomore year in college. So I've known them for an extensive amount of time. Um, the program that they've built over the last 10-ish years that they've been coaching there is tremendous and our programs that we're trying to build within our community is the idea is to feed into USF into some of the local colleges and get them, up, all of our athletes up to par to be able to compete with the other collegiate programs that are out there.